today I would like to talk about the Apex Cube. I've spent a lot of time um, working with the Apex Cube the last few weeks, seeing how I can print it faster. Of course, um, if we don't print it fast, we will never know what the printer can do. But for a lot of you, you probably don't know the Apex Cube. The Apex Cube was designed in South Africa. Uh, it belongs to, or the designer has an online shop uh, in South Africa called Apex. And um, I thought this is a beautiful little cube um, to put on the Discord channel and get the guys there to print it fast and let's see what the fastest time is that we could come up. I even challenged the South African um, members of the Apex group to see who's faster. I don't want to say the world versus South Africa, but it would probably be something like that. So yes, in this video, I will show you my fast print um, that I did printing the, the uh, Apex Cube um, as fast as possible what the printer was able to, to deliver. And I actually, I didn't have printer movement problems, but more cooling problems. And I'll get to that in a, in a second. So yeah, again, the Apex Cube, I will bring out a follow-up video of the Apex Cube. If you're interested, we are running a small competition, but I will explain everything in the um, upcoming video, what you can win, how you can qualify, for um for the for the cube challenge um also explained where you have to upload it etc so i'm not going to go into detail now but i will um, explain everything in a next video so yeah if you're interested to see what the outcome is printing the apex cube fast then please stay tuned i will also post the the just the printing part in a separate video so just a, a short no explanation just the the video for the competition i'm not entering the competition but of course i want to join in with the fun and print something fast i will show you what i did with the duct because we can see the duct a little bit uh, what i had to modify to be actually able to print this so I will quickly give you a rundown on that, and then we'll jump straight into the 3D print to see what the outcome was and the final time, because the challenge is to beat 5 minutes and 40 seconds. Just a quick look at the toolet that is currently mounted to the 3D printer. Um, at the top, the silver part here is the SLM um, 3D printer part from PCBWay. And again, thank you very much, PCBWay, for sponsoring the toolette. It's just been amazing uh, using a aluminium toolette, single part, all in one. It's, it's just been performing great. The input shaping um, numbers have gone up at least 30% since I'm only using the SLM printed uh, toolette. So it's really been amazing. Then new to other videos is the Cube. This is the Cube Conduct. I bought this hot end from America, and at the bottom I've got the uh, titanium um, shield over. So this is a feature upgrade feature that you can buy. I also bought that from uh, Luke's lab. At the top I designed a, a Bowden Bowden connector. So this was for me the challenge. I wanted to print the Apex Cube super fast, but using Bowden. Why Bowden? Because of course I wanted to test the M404 extruder uh, to see how much filament was I actually able to extrude with a cube conduct and um, the M404 extruder. And it's been performing great. You will see it in the video. Then I normally speed Benji's and anything with speed you would use ABS or ASA for your print and I haven't found anything super high flow so of course you can just crank up the heat and it automatically becomes high flow but there's a lot of PLA high flow ultra high flow out available from from different companies and I just grabbed one the cheapest one I could find loaded it into the printer and started printing with it it's it's a white um, PLA filament I also bought that filament I didn't get that sponsored but of course printing with PLA it became a new challenge printing super fast PLA can turn into a blob very very quickly so then I decided to 
put um, two ducts on, two separate ducts. We can see a little bit of the hose. And these are connected to two individual CPAPs. So I'm running the mammoth muffler on each one of them, uh, but they individually. So I could theoretically run the one at 100% and the other one at 50% if I wanted to do that. And I started testing and printing and I kept on getting nozzle jams because the conduct, um, the, the cube conduct, yes, um, transmits heat like any other um, hot end. So the heat break conducts so much heat into the SLM printed part that I would get in this section up here, right at the top, I would get nozzle jams. And um, a member or a YouTube member that, that likes to comment on videos, I will blend his name in. Thank you very much for the idea. I did implement the idea of using the CPAP. Um, a is branching off it and using that to cool the top plate um, of the tool lid. So that is what I did, and that was a new challenge. And I know it's going to be super difficult to see, but on this angle, maybe you guys can also see this part here, but definitely here we can see a little like a knob standing out. So inside I made a little um, five millimeter hole where I redirect a little part of the A blowing directly onto the SLM printed part. So I'm cooling off the uh, top plate of the tool head so that it stays nice and cool so that the PLA filament wouldn't start melting before the heat break and causing nozzle jams. So a lot of things to, to learn during the process and printing fast with Bowden. If I would have my normal direct drive with water cooling on, I would have never had this problem. It would have been a breeze, just start printing. But of course, we want to learn and we want to evolve to see if, if Bowden could be interesting again or not. The question is, is Bowden still an option for me? Yes, I do like Bowden, but I don't think on a Voron 2.4 style printer, um, it makes sense. The Bowden is really just too long. I couldn't go, uh, get good uh, PA, pressure advance uh, values, because the Bowden tube is just too long. I think on a Trident printer, uh, VZBot printer could be very, very interesting because we can keep the Bowden tube super short. But on my setup, it it's just too too long. So I will, in future videos, swap back to direct drive, maybe in combination with secondary M404. We will see what the future brings us. But yeah, I had to ha or have to blow air onto the top plate to keep the top plate cool. And that again resolved into another problem. I would heat up the hot end to 260 degrees in the beginning before the print because I need the high flow to print fast and that it actually looks like an apex cube. But then I would have to start cooling um, the top plate before I even start printing. And I mean, if I talk cooling, 30% dual CPAP is a lot of air coming out. I have to say the cube is handling this airflow extremely well. But I did do some, some flow tests and I came up to 94.3 cubic millimeter square and then it was finished meaning it's too much air coming out of the CPAP that restricts the cube from heating up more. And I could not get the uh, cube to heat up over 334 degrees because of all the air that is blowing around the hot end, up the hot end, and just cooling it down. That even that 140 watt inside that I'm running is just, it's, it's just, too much air. That's it. Simple as that. So yeah, that's another challenge. Maybe um, I will add a third CPAP in a, another video just because I'm, I'm really cur curious to see if it's possible just for the top plate cooling. So then I can reduce the amount of air coming out of the, the two ducts and see if I can push the print. Uh, my goal, I, I really want to see a hundred um, cubic uh, millimeters a second 
being pushed out of the the cube um, hot end with a 0.4 millimeter nozzle and the M404, that, that would just be a dream come true. So yeah, I don't want to spend too much time. Like I said, I will do a video about the CPAPs because um, that is the um, Big Tree Tech kits, the, the turbo kits, and I just thought I should share my experience with you guys because I thought it was super easy to, to install, very simple to do, but I will do that in a future video. So if you like content like this, please consider liking and subscribing. Um, if this video is already too long for you, don't worry, we're going straight into the 3D printed uh, part. So printing the Apex Cube. And if you don't want to listen to all of this again, I will post a short version of it so that you guys can look only at the short version while I'm printing the Apex Cube. And you never know, the challenge is to be 5 minutes 40 seconds. Did I achieve it? You will only find out if you watch till the end of the video.